Hey, I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Mariah, and we're going to take you guys on a quick tour of Grandview's campus. Let's head out. All right, so now we're going to head into the library and show you a couple good things in here. All right, so Einstein's is right here, one of many places on campus that you can get some snacks, and it is located in the library. So on the first floor, there is a computer lab, plenty of open space, and if you need a little bit of quiet time for a group project, here are rooms you can check out. Next to the library is the Cole Center. It is home to the music program where the band and choir practice, and you also might find yourself in some extra classes. If you're a business major, you'll find yourself in the Crum Business Center. You'll find one of two lecture halls, labs, faculty, and classrooms. So this is Humphrey, the original building on campus, and this is where the administrative offices are held, and you'll find President Henning. Ealing's is home base to all science labs and the second lecture hall on campus. On our way back to Rasmussen, this is the most populated area on campus. Hey, what's up? This is my favorite place on campus during Christmas time because it's all lit up with Christmas lights. Rasmussen Center is where you'll find social sciences, education, and art. Speaking of art, let's hop inside. First thing when you walk in, you'll see the gallery, and throughout the year, there are different exhibits. Now we'll cross Jensen Bridge, and Mariah will show you the rest of campus on the east side. Jensen Bridge is a really great way to travel for classes when it's raining and snowing, and we're going to head right into the Student Center. This is on the second floor of the Student Center. We have our Carlson Commons. As an incoming freshman, you can have an all-access five-day-a-week meal plan or an all-access seven-day-a-week meal plan. On the first floor of the Student Center, over here we have Grandview Express, which is the other option other than Einstein's Bagels. And that leads right into CJ's Place, which is a great place for students to hang out between classes. All right, up here on our left, we have our communications department. You'll be able to see our production studio and our radio station that our students use during classes. And then over here, we have our bookstore. Inside, you'll find all the books you need for classes, as well as all of our GV gear. Over here, we have our theater. We do four productions a year, and you don't have to be a theater major to be a part of it. We'll head out of the Student Center and over to the Johnson Wellness Center. Right on the first floor of the Wellness Center, we have our nurse who is called by appointment and she can actually prescribe medication as well. And then over here we have upper level nursing and kinesiology classes as well. On the second floor of Wellness, we have an aerobics room with a schedule on the door for classes. We have weight areas, cardio areas for students and faculty to work out as well as our field house for men's and women's volleyball. On the back side of the Wellness Center, we have our softball and baseball fields, and all students get free into athletic events. Knudsen and Nielsen are freshman dorms. They're traditional style of freshman dorms, and we can go take a look at a room. So the room comes with a bed, a desk, a dresser, a bookshelf, and plenty of closet space with a built-in drawer. So inside whole suite, we have two bedrooms, two people in each bedroom. The living room comes with the couch, the coffee table, the chair, and then inside the actual bedroom you get uh, two beds, two dressers, two bookshelves, two wardrobes. The tan and yellow building is Langrock Suites. It's set up similar to whole suites, except for the third floor is all nursing students, first year nursing students in NPOD. And then behind me is the L's. Uh, that is junior and senior level's apartments, so each person gets their own room and the shared kitchen along with the bathroom. 